the terrible mountain lizard. In the southeast of Belfast, near a huge river, lies a lonely tall mountain named Panty Hill. At the very top of the tall mountain, there is a big scratch mark in the grass that goes deep. It goes to the underground train. Well, some children say that it was caused by the terrible mountain lizard. Have you ever tried to see the lizard? Many years ago, Lord Mountain got all the poor people to help the animals and take care of them and gave them a lovely part of land that has given to him by the beautiful queen. He used the land to farm the wheat and the crops, then let the poor people look after the animals. Lord Manton allowed the people to farm on his land and offered them to protect the, in return for the crops and animals. Remember that. Later, Lord Manton got out the castle and went swimming. When he went to swim, he looked down at the pool. He saw a big lizard and went and got it. He got dressed and took it home in a bag. But while he was driving home, he heard and felt the lizard moving in the bag. So he threw it in a bag in a big lake. And he laughed so hard he fell over. The lizard has huge eyes like pool balls. It has teeth as sharp as a nail. Its body was as huge long was a huge long body. It was wet and slimy and disgusting. The lizard makes Lord Manton get very worried about the scratching and kept biting the leather of the bag. So it kept catching on the bag and he threw it in a lake. It is funny to watch this lizard swim in this lake, Lord said. It was super funny to watch it, it then skip back home. When he arrived back to the village, upon arriving back at his home, Lord Manton had some shocking news. He had signed his lazy son up to boot camp. Despite his begi him beginning and peeling he had to go. You will be ready to rule Manton, his father. Meanwhile, little lizard got hungrier and hungrier, and it got bigger. And while it got hungrier, it went bigger, then it found a hole and got out the lake into the ground and climbed up a tree it was safe there until Lord Manton saw the lizard go up the tree and he saw it and it grew and grew and grew bigger. Its lizardness became more dragon-like with furry green skin that has put that was poisonous. It had deadly spikes that could cut people to the bone. Hot red fire coming out of its sharp tooth mouth and one huge eye that allowed it to see for miles. The more it grew, the more beastly it became. Eventually, 
It turned its fierce, creepy eyes towards Lord Manton and his village. Scratch gobble in the fields where the animals were. She saw the lizard so she went ran there in and, and ate the sheep and to the bone. Quickly gobbling up the chickens, the lizard breathed fire. Ah! screamed the boy, who has watching the chickens die. The villagers could do nothing to stop the terrible, creepy, fierce creature. So with all their might, they grabbed their hammers and fear and skipped to the castle walls, chanting, Kill the lizard! Kill the lizard! You promised to protect us! That's the bargain! We farm! You protect! Lord Manton called up his bravest, mighty friends and strongest knights, but it was no use. Then, eventually, he called Leon. Then, four days later, Lord Manton returned. He was terrified to see what had happened to his beautiful village. What has happened here? he asked, shocked. The villagers have been attacked by... Leon paused. A huge lizard, he cried. Young Manton looked puzzled. I don't mean a skinny green thing or a tree climber, explained Lord Manton. I mean a stalking chicken eater, cow scoffing lizard. Leon thought back to his adventure in the mountains all those months ago. Was this the very same lizard he put in the lake? Why had he not captured it when he had the chance? Ashamed, Leon knew he had been cowardly, and unless in his yo youth this was the chance for redeem pin redemption. Leon was determined to succeed in his quest to kill the terrible lizard. He decided he would need some help to do, to get some armor and a big weapon. The next day, Leon collected his armor and his big bow and arrow from the blacksmith. You will need this sword to defeat the horrible, terrible lizard creature thing. Dragging the knighty bow and arrow behind him, Leon made his way to Panty Hill. There he saw it was the terrible lizard. It was lying amongst the hill. Lord Manton was terrified by the lizard monster. Finally, Lord Manton got his bow and arrow ready and then he got it up in its hands. And then Lord Manton pinged the arrow at the lizard in the tail, then the head, and then the chest, right where the heart was. So then Leon Manton won the fight and he got put on the board of pictures and he was so pleased of himself. The end. Thank you for watching.